And I'm not only going to eat something that I like to eat once or twice a week. In today's video, I just want to actually just have a conversation with you guys about the idea of cheat meals. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blossom and I share my health and wellness journey as well as health and wellness tips and reviews. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, before you leave, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. So in today's video, I just want to actually just have a conversation with you guys about the idea of cheat meals. I have a very different view on cheat meals than I think a lot of other YouTubers do. I just want to sit down and have a conversation about it so that I can just introduce new ideas to people. Um, a few YouTubers have made some videos about these in the past and you know recently and I think I have a kind of a different view or a different outlook on cheat meals. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. Yes, let's get started. Well, first of all, what's a cheat meal? So some people call cheat meals like meals that will be higher in calories, meals that will be higher in sugar and sometimes fat, meals like cookies, ice cream, cake, fried food, sometimes just food that has a bunch of calories in it, like maybe a pasta dish or something like that. So some people um, in the health and fitness worlds say that you can have cheat meals but you can't have them too often like maybe one or two cheat meals a week my views are so 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 different on this and actually I don't even believe in the word cheat meals cheating on what? I say treat, treat. Meal. meal because it's a treat to eat something that I like to eat. And I'm not only gonna eat something that I like to eat once or twice a week, even though I like to eat fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and whole plant foods, whole animal foods, like eggs and fish. In my opinion, cheat sounds like a negative word and treat sounds like a more positive word. So if I want to refer to the topic of cheat meals, I will always say treat meal because I look at it as a positive thing. I mean, it's a food that I really wanna eat like cake, cookies, ice cream, pasta. It's a treat meal to me. So that's what I refer to it as. I make it a very positive thing. To me, there are no bad foods there are no foods that are off limits and there are no cheat meals. There's not one single food that's off limits to me. If I wanted to eat bacon for some odd reason, which I haven't had in over 10 plus years, I would eat bacon. And the reason that I kind of think this way is because my diet, wellness, and fitness journey is I look at it as more of a marathon. It's something, those three areas of my life, diet, fitness, and wellness, those areas, I'm gonna be trying to do things that I can maintain for the rest of my life. So my overall philosophy is, you should eat what you want in moderation. And you should eat it when you crave it. Like let's say I wanted a cookie, I would go get a cookie. If I really, really wanted a cookie, I would go get a cookie. Like because this is my life i'm not like trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle for something other than having a healthy lifestyle feeling strong and being healthy and living a long life my kind of thinking around treat meals is that you should have whatever you want but you should have it in moderation and you should also know for yourself what are some foods that you really don't have control over there are a few foods for me that I don't really have control over. For example, I do not have control over Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey. I don't have control. I, I don't, I don't have control. Since I know that I don't have control over that food, 
instead of having it once a week like I used to, I used to have it almost almost every single week. Since I know now that I don't have control over that food, I only eat it every once in a while when I'm really, really craving it. But it's not something that I have to do every single week. It's not something that I have to do every few weeks. Have whatever you want in moderation and know the foods that you do not have control of. But if you want to kind of manage the treats that you have, or if you want to kind of monitor the treats that you have, I would suggest to you, you should have a more manageable treat. For me, granola, crackers, fried food, pasta dishes, or things with dairy in them like pizza, quesadillas, and some sweets that might have milk or eggs in them. Those foods for me would be manageable treats. Those are foods that I can have um, whenever I crave them, whenever I want them, and I know I have control over them. I don't have to eat a lot of those foods. And there are periods of time in my life when I feel like I don't have control over certain food, like I'm eating it too much. For instance, a few weeks ago, I was eating a lot of dried mango slices. So for the next week when I went to Aldi's, I didn't buy the dried mango slices because I felt like I didn't have control anymore. My idea about treat, treat meals is have a treat meal, have one in moderation know your triggers know the foods that you don't have control over know the foods that you have control over and learn how to have it in moderation for me granola and crackers fried foods and things with dairy in it are foods that i know that i can manage but to me they classify as treat meals so i know that I'm not gonna have a whole box of crackers, I'm gonna have a serving or two of crackers. Granola, I'm not gonna have the whole thing of granola, I'm gonna have a serving or two of granola. Treat meals are absolutely necessary for you to be sane, for you to have your sanity, for you to maintain a healthy lifestyle long term. And I don't really think it's healthy for us to classify certain foods as bad or certain foods as off limits or certain foods as the food that I'm gonna cheat on my diet with. To me, that sounds so negative. I just want to like introduce the idea to you that maybe you could think of all foods as foods that you can eat. Um, some of those foods are treat foods. Some of those foods you don't have control over and those are the foods that you would eat sparingly when you really, really want them. What can you start doing right now that you know for a fact you can maintain for the rest of your life? People say um, that you shouldn't have cheat days. And that is absolutely true. I absolutely believe that I should never have a treat day, a whole day where I just eat all the high calorie or junky or processed or, you know, foods with a lot of sugar. I would never have, not, let me not say never but <laughs> I wouldn't have a day where I just eat treat meals for the whole day. I won't go overboard and have a whole day where I just eat junky foods or treat type of foods. That is the one tip that I would advise for you guys is to not, don't think of it as, oh, I'm gonna eat healthy from Monday to Friday and then on Saturday I'm gonna have my cheat day. No, don't do that. Don't do that one. Eat healthy for the entire week. And whenever you feel like you wanna treat, treat yourself. Whenever you feel like you want something, eat it. Eat it in moderation, have one to two servings. And then those foods that you know you don't have control over, you know you don't have control over those cookies. You know those Girl Scout cookies, you do not have control over. So don't even buy any, don't buy none this year. Just go without them. And if you really have a craving for the treat meal that you know you don't have control over, go eat it. Food is so delicious and life is to be enjoyed. And, and that's what I believe. I'm just flowing through life doing things that I know that I can maintain long-term or I can be happy or I won't be going crazy. 
thinking about a certain food that I cannot have or something like that. I just want to give you guys a new perspective. Here's my question to you. What is that one food that you do not have control over? And leave me a comment down below. What's your philosophy around treat meals? What do you think about cheat meals? What do you think about cheat days? Leave me a comment below. If you made it to the end of this video and you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. I love you beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.